Guys, just so you know, the women sometimes can play hard to get. Unless you're handicapped and then they play impossible to get. Why, women, why? What's going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? I hope I just didn't sound like white boy. Ugh, painful. Dude does not take on my fancy. Hope you're all doing awesome and having good games and having fun gaming. Here's a little gameplay of Demolition from Nuketown 24-7. I love this playlist. I hope it stays permanently at some point because it's a great way to learn how to play new game modes, which I, up to this point, I probably had played maybe 10 games of Demolition in my whole life. So what I was doing here was I was actually, I kept running in to try and defend bomb sites earlier on previous Nuketown Demolition games and... Then I just realized, I'm like, I'm just going to take Hardened and an M60 with big ammo, and I'm just going to chainsaw through the garage and cover the bomb. And my team was on it. These guys were awesome. They ran for A, because most teams run for B to defend that, because that, they think that's what you're going for first. And they ran for A, and we totally just went in there. And then I, once they dropped the bomb, I was able to cover it from being defused, and it was awesome. Went off just like that. My team is awesome. So I just want to give you a couple quick channel updates of what's going on. I will be on Painkiller already next week, which should be awesome. Hopefully we get a chance to talk Modern Warfare 3. Because I want to talk strike packages, the perk loadouts, get people's opinions on that. That would be awesome. And nice job, team. That was good. Super awesome. That's the fastest I ever won a round when I was attacking Demolition. In Demolition. So here I decide to go a little bit of um, mentally challenged handicapped guy. And I, do, I don't defend very well at all. Oh, by the way, when that last couple games, people had mentioned why I was running Hacker. Um, I just started playing uh, Nuketown 24-7 and that Hacker I usually run. Um, I was running Marathon just so I get to my camping spots more effectively. But when I play team games, I run Hacker sometimes because if I'm mic'd, I want to be able to tell my team where um, claymores are. I, I give shout outs and call outs like that. Just locations of claymores and to be on guard for them and where they are on the map because I think that, that contributes to the team doing well is letting them know where equipment is because then they also know where the enemy might be camping. But yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm just going to defend the bomb back through here because I had so much success, but it doesn't work out the same. But the 60 with big ammo and hardened, Love it. But that worked out really well through like, you know, I'm going to start doing that whenever we're attacking, using a gun with hardened to, to cover the bomb sites from outside. Because usually I get in there and cover around them. And yeah, this shit's worked way better. Uh, I just want to give us some more updates on what's going on too. The, if you saw my video on the Adroid controller, it's that new modular controller for disabled gamers that's put out by Evil Controllers. So it's a box that has holes and you plug in buttons and then you can rearrange those buttons anywhere you want on any surface. Like I can make a board where I have all the buttons where I can reach them, like fire with my elbow, uh, left elbow fire, right elbow sight up, throw nades just by tapping my wrist down and then I could use the two joysticks. Yeah, somebody bought me one. One of my buddies that I know from Huppet totally ended up ordering me one. He's awesome. He didn't want me to give him a shout out, so I'm not going to yet, but I'm probably going to whenever it shows up. Because come on, you bought me a $400 custom controller. I'm going to pwn noobs. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I just got to figure out how to like lay out the controller now. I'm so psyched though. If I had a tail, he'd be wagging. You know it. So right here, I'm like trying to like do the same thing where I'm going to shoot through the, the vehicles to shoot people's feet to get the kills. I don't know. I just want, I don't know. That's what I was doing. It, don't know what I was thinking, but oh well. My team was on it. They were just pushing into the spawn. I should have been paying more attention to what they were doing. I was trying to just cover that bomb site. But it was cool because of Nuketown 24-7, I was able to get TAC Mask Pro finally. Um, I'm a few um, things away from Flak Jacket Pro. But I've never been able to get TAC, TAC Mask Pro because those getting the kills with the Nova gas and then the flashbangs is just really hard for me because I never throw those. And usually I get the flash and somebody else gets the kill. So yeah, that's what's up with that. 
So if you guys could, if you guys want to leave me a voicemail, um, I need a few for my next couple of things I'm going to be doing. You can leave on my voicemail before you leave a shout out, or you can leave a comment. You can say something sexually desirous. That's fine. Ladies. And check me out here. I'm, looking, I'm just laying down a suppressing fire. Okay, movie quote time. Lay down, lay down a suppressing fire with the incinerators and fall back by squads to the APC. Well, movie, come on. You can do it. And yes, so I just thought this was a great clip of me going orf with the M60. And my, my team was on it, man. They were just, they were just bum rushing it. But to get that bomb to blow up that quickly, that was awesome. That was something we, I just, all the games of demolition I ended up playing on Nuketown, that was probably the only one we won because we couldn't get that A off. We lost a few when other teams did it to us, but my teams just couldn't pull together to get that last bomb because it was too near their spawn but you have one guy rush in and one guy cover with the hardened m60 big ammo and you're good to go hey if you guys want to check out some of these videos on the screen it's one of them this is the colonial aliens marine trailer i i broke down i did it with some lulls and the other one was a review of the mw3 strike packages and i thought it was kind of cool that's all thanks for watching game on gamers peace in your crease